Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> Hey, how's everybody doing today? It's the man child. All right, so today for review, I'm going to go over the Master of the Universe Origins Cartoon Collection Prince Adam and Cringer two pack set or box set. Look at this. This is really cool. So, 40 years later, we finally get a Cringer in our vintage inspired line or what's now the cartoon collection, again, which is sort of a uh, subline of the Origins. And they work together well with the Origins, I think, for the most part. The newer figures like He Man, which is basically yeah, Prince Adam in disguise. <laughs> It's never made sense, but for some reason, you throw a vest and purple pants on, and it's fun. Um, has the same has different aesthetics than the vintage inspired figures. I like it; I don't mind it. But that's pretty much what we get with the cartoon collection. If you're not familiar, but yeah, this is a long-awaited set, especially again the Cringer. Um, now, the only time there was a Cringer ever made as part of the Motu or the Mass Universe series or any of any of the lines was the um, Classics line. I'll bring that in a second. I still have a card with um, Captain Glenn. And that Cringer was, it was too small. They actually, some people called it Baby Cringer. The Classics line was actually working on a 2.0 Cringer, but then the line ended or Super 7 took it over and they never got to a properly cartoon or animation inspired Cringer. And again, that had a lot more detail. Well, this is more simplified going back to the cartoon. Um, but yeah, I like what they did. Uh, some of the complaints were that the eyes on this figure, as far as early images, they're not yellow, like going back to the card art or what was in the animation now. They do have a tint in them, and once we get them in a package, of course, we'll take a better look, but they're not yellow. It doesn't bother me. It's not the worst thing, but they didn't correct that problem. And some of the stripes are a little different, like going down the arms. I think in the animation, they were horizontal, not vertical, like on the shoulders. Again, this I think the cartoon line is doing a good job for the Origins, for what it's trying to do with the you know, vintage inspired origins aesthetics being part of the cartoon series, but it's not a hundred percent accurate colors and certain things like the classics would be. Uh, Super Seven did put out a classics Prince Adam. I have that laying around somewhere in card. It's not what I'm focused on at the moment, but again, I really like what they did with this set. And now here's a little closer look on the art in front of the box. So yeah, we just got Prince Adam and Cringer just hanging around, having a great day, not caring the world until he has turned to He Man. He has the uh, grinning face there, which this figure does come with. Um, you have somewhere in Turnia, beautiful location, waterfalls, trees, all kinds of crazy plants, something like at the Avatar movie. Kind of wish I was there now. <laughs> but of course, somebody's going to come and crash your party and over here in these weird, wacky looking weeds, we got Skeletor, Evil Lynn, and it looks like Triclops. Triclops is also announced part of the cartoon series. I haven't seen any images on him yet, but he is coming to the line. And once again, we have the He-Man and Master Universe logo off to the... Left hand side, you get some butterflies, again, some other cool plants and moss growing in the background. And now here's a quick look at the art. I'm back at the box. Look at that. Gorgeous. Prince Adam raising a sword by the power of Grey Skull. And we got Cringer in the background. You know he's done for. He's going to be Battle Cat soon, which he was always afraid of. Of course, uh, Castle Grey Skull in the background, all light and energy, get ready to transform in He Man. We have uh, Zor, or Zoar in the background. Um, this alone could be like a little uh, poster piece. And here's a quick look at the art on the right-hand side of the box, looking at it from the window, and it's just, yeah, more background, dirt, and moss, and I think that's pokas, or the puka figure, uh, animals, or something like that, that was on Eternia. And now here's a quick look at the art on the left-hand side of the box, looking from the window, and look at that, we have Imp hiding in the weeds, spying on, uh, yeah, Prince Adam and Cringer. So that's a little hint to some maybe Horde coming in this uh, cartoon series. Okay, real quick, before we take a look at Prince Adam and Cringer out of the box, of course, I said I'd bring in the uh, Cringer and Captain Glenn classic setup, I still have a card. So yeah, you can see, if you take a closer look at that, you can see Cringer, obviously in the background, has good detail, but very little articulation. I do like how the face was done, see those bright yellow eyes, but the tooth fang is on the, or his left hand side to where the cartoon one is on the right. I, I think that's correct for animation, a cartoon one. And yeah, it's neat to see Captain Glenn, and there's a dress in here too, you can dress her up as Queen Marlena. Now, I have no doubt with this Animate this cartoon line. You're going to see a King Randor and um, Queen Marlena come to the line. Now we have a Cringer Prince Adam. But this pretty much had a classics. Gave you these two figures if anybody's curious or have never seen them before. And the last thing I want to show you for a little teaser before we get into Prince Adam Cringer is I just got these figures in today. So here's a look at the newer um, cartoon Webster if anybody's curious. Looking pretty good. There's a front and a back. This is Lord Grasp. It was Snake Eye, which is Walmart exclusive, floating around eBay online. It's art. And here's the new Evil Inn, which, um, yeah, I, lo I love its head sculpt, the design. 
Again, they are messing around with the colors a bit, going back to Prince Adam Cringer. But I like what they're doing, the front and the back. And now, moving back to the review, and of course, I think the most important figure in this package to me and a lot of us to check out first would be Cringer. Look at that. Wow, we finally get a uh, vintage-inspired animation slash Cringer figure. It's part of our Motu line. Now, yeah, he has a lot of articulation. I like the design and sculpt. There's a spare head. We'll get into that. Um, but yeah, you know, the colors. So he has a brighter green color, obviously, than that darker green. Going back to animation, stripes are a little different colors. As I already mentioned, doesn't have yellow in the eyes. The eyes are more of a... Yeah, they have a tint in them, but they're not... It's not yellow, obviously. I'm okay with it, you know, for what they did. Um, And he, he has a good size going back. Or going to... To match the um, vintage inspired Battle Cat, which of course I'll bring in in a little while for comparison stuff like that. Anyway, so taking a little closer look at Cringer's first head sculpt, the one he comes on a package with just the closed mouth and a fang hanging to the right side. Yeah, again, I like it, like the detail in the nose. Now the mouth doesn't articulate, it's closed already. Different paint, it has a little furry um, chin piece in the bottom. You have the extra sculpting on the bottom in the face here, so you can see how the stripes were done. So yeah, there's a little closer look at the eyes once again. And white, but they, yeah, they definitely have a tint in them. A yellowish tint, but more on the white side. I like the extra paint inside the ears. Now the ears are all, the rubber. So the whole headpiece is rubber. The, the ears are flexible, but they don't articulate. But he does have a lot of articulation. So as far as this head on the neck piece, you can go up, down, spin all around. The neck extension piece can also, okay, there's the head right off. There's the ball peg. That's easier. It can, that can also spin all around. It might be upside down. I think it is. Let's try to plug it in again. There we go. That's better. All right. Yeah, I was going to say something's wrong. It's upside down in a package. Um. All right. So now we can spin like this. How about articulation? Yeah, that's better. All right. Now I can go all the way back and ahead and go all the way back and up. Like he's looking up at Adam. And then all the way down like that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I like the head sculpt. It's, uh, you know, as good as we're going to get with a cringer at the moment. See the extra yellow stripes on this side of the face that are identical. The ones on the top. We were looking at the bot the top, the top of the neck, excuse me, the bottom. Um, moving on to the body. So yeah, he has articulation. And his main thorax can split and spin. Can go up and down. All right, you can see all the detail on the stripes once again, the bright yellow stripes. There's a look at the bottom. He does have a little fur sculpting going on here with the rest of the bodies, just um. Yeah, flat and plain. Going back to the animation to where the Origins one is detailed a little better. But again, once we get into him, I think it'll work good with this Cringer. He has some extra fur sculpting. So let's see the chest. Okay, on both sides going down there. Let's look at the other side. Now as far as the front legs and paws. So with the articulation, when you go up, down. Can you go out? Let me see. You kind of go out a little bit. About that far, if that. You can bend up at the... The back of the um, paw there, the elbow, the arm rather. Look at that. Go all the way up. You can spin. And then his paws too can go up, down, uh, rock side to side. So they got good hinge joints on both sides. No nails or nothing like that sculpting in there. Just plain, yeah, paws. But that's pretty cool because that was a downfall with the Origins Battle Cat that had articulation in, up in here, up in the elbows and in the inner arms, but nothing in the paws. Kind of what hurt that figure. Um... Yeah, that's a cool design. So, let's see. We already talked about the other arm's leg is all the same. Okay, you have a little extra fur sculpting back here. Oh, check that out. Even on the bottom, too. So, you have details on the paws. Pretty neat. So, moving down, we already talked about that. Now, going back to the um, back of the legs. So, he has those hinged legs like a cat or an animal should have. Uh, they, can get, they can go forward, back. Okay, articulation in and out as well. Can bend all weight. Has a uh, hinge joint back here, all the way up, all the way forward. Has it then a double hinge joint down in here. That too is articulation. Go up, down, spin. This can spin. And so does the foot, the, back, the pull in the back. That can go all the way up. Well, it's kind of stuck right now. How about this side? Some of these you got to heat up. There we go. I'll have to work on that one, but it should go all the way up, down. Rocks spin side to side. You know, the legs are all the same, but excellent articulation. So you can take a better look at the stripes. And yeah, on this part too, like the image I showed, um, 
Yeah, I think the stripes are supposed to be horizontal, not up and down. Going back to the cartoon, it's you know it's mixed all over the place. I, I'm fine with it. I'm happy to get a cringer like this. I to me it, don't, it doesn't really bother me. Um, and then as far as the tail, so we can see the tail. It's a soft piece of rubber. Also has a hinge joint. Go down, up, spin all around, all that good stuff. Here's a better look at the back of legs, how far they can go out, and just yeah, all kinds of different positions you can <clears throat> pose them standing up, you know, with the like up on Adam or something like that, or a, in a running position or crouching down. It's like a lot of articulation. It's pretty cool they gave that to this uh, Cringer. And now taking a closer look at Cringer's alternative or second head, that's a really good head sculpt. So he has that surprised face or scared face, like when he's going to hit, get hit with the power sword to transform the battle cat or just. Yeah, I'm scared, getting ready to run away. Um, now, it has a lot of details to the first... Let me see. Bring in this one. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. It doesn't. Completely different. Okay, yeah, the eyes are wider, obviously. It's different, yeah. Not only is it different as far as sculpt with the eyes... Uh, let's see. The, yeah, the ear... Is the ears the same? Yeah, the ears are about the same. The paint's all the same, which that would make sense. But the eyes and the eyebrows are raised in this figure. The other thing, though, what's cool with this is look at this. A fully sculpted uh, mouth, articulated mouth. You even have fangs on the top on the, the top and bottom, tongue kind of painted in there. Wow, that's awesome. I didn't I didn't notice articulate start started uh, messing around with it. So going back to Cringer, let's remove the head once again. So it's gonna pop off the ball peg. Then we'll put this alternative head on. And now just look at that setup. Yeah, I think I like that head. It's one I'm going to keep on his figure on display. So with this head on the, the neck, as far as the articulation, it's like the other one can spin, look all the way down and uh, up, you know, look up. And yeah, that's pretty cool to jog and go all the way down like, ah! Or you keep it halfway open or even closed enough. And um, But now you see all the fangs instead of one. And uh, so yeah, we already have a neck design, everything. The body, yeah, this has details on the back, back paws too. I didn't mention that. See the extra yellow stripes all over. I really like it. I'm so happy to have a cringer like this part of cartoon line in the origins. Did a great job with him. And now, of course, moving forward to Prince Adam. Uh, yeah, they did a good job on him. Again, I like the look. It's basically just a cartoon He-Man from what I can see, but painted mu the um, buck is just painted white. You have the V, like the V-neck, which is um, yeah, no details. It's just paint over the tan body. I like this newer style vest um the design and color of it he has uh so yeah all the newer aesthetics the other he-man has i'll bring him in soon to compare him of course um so bring him in for a closer look right there's the head sculpt you're not familiar now yeah it looks exactly like he-man so let me bring in he-man real quick and we'll do us other comparisons in a little while so is it the same i mean it should be right going back to the cartoon prince adam was pretty much he-man he-man was prince adam beside the vest and stuff yeah, nothing different, so that makes sense. But just wanted to confirm that. So as far as your articulation with this head, if you're not familiar, look all the way left to right. Go down about that far and back. See all the details. Yeah, great details in the eyes and the face. Um, I like this head for, you know, the He-Man, now Prince Adam for the cartoon collection. A lot of people did, and other people didn't in the comments, you know. I mean, I don't know. I think it works. I look around all the hair. There's not really much detail in the hair. Down bottom is a little sculpt, you know, cuts and stuff like that, and at the top. So, yeah, moving down to the chest and buck area, we got this new vest. Now, I, w I wasn't sure how this comes off at first. I thought maybe you had to pop the head, the arms, all that stuff to break it off the body, but no, it has a buckle. <laughs> you see that? I thought it was glued, but you just press it and snaps together. Pretty cool. Um, so, as far so yeah, he has just a regular, the new style uh, cartoon arms. Again, just paint it white. And has white wrist bracers to match that. So as far as your articulation with the newer arms and the vest on, go up, down, forward, back, bend up all the way up the elbow to the face, straight. Wow, these elbows are really tight. This one's not even moving. How about this side? There we go. Okay. That hand fell off. <laughs> I got to heat this guy up. Um. All right. So with the hand out, the hand comes out. Uh, the other side, or the right side now. So it can spin as far as the hand, and it goes up and down to hold the power sword. You can see that. It has a gripping hand. And the hand that fell out, uh, let me get that for a second. Now that look at the hand that popped out. Just an open hand, so the hinge joint goes in and out. And typical origin-style peg, so you can use a regular 
vintage inspired He-Man hand. It's tan to match the side if you wanted to with a gripping hand. Um, yeah, so the other arms are all the same, but yeah, this figure's like really stuck in a joint. I'll have to heat that up. I'm not going to mess around with it. All right, so going back to the vest and the arms. Um, so yeah, as I said, see this vest pops apart and it looks like to remove it. Um, it's easier to take the arm out. So let's remove the arm for a second. Okay, and here's a look with the arm removed. Just the typical origin style peg, so for customs. And then I think with one arm removed, um, it's easier to pull this vest right off one side and just down the other. It doesn't matter which arm you remove. I just did that one like this. And now here's a little closer look at that vest off the body. So yeah, the belt's all part of it. Just painted around. Right, you can see how flexible it is. And yeah, I do like the color. It's a pinkish, but it has like a, a little bit of a purplish tint. And it's not like a super bright pink um yeah and you can see how it clips you know the little buckle inside how it would snap it's actually two buckles you got to line this or a peg system a little like a square peg so we line that piece up with this and there's a oval one and that's how we lock the uh, vest together and now here's a look with prince adam with the vest removed from the body so as i already mentioned just a yeah filmation he-man he body painted white once again i'm going to bring in he-man we looked at the head so you can see i mean I have the armor on but um yeah, everything's the same as far as muscle aesthetics. Again, which makes sense. Um, so that's kind of cool for customs, I guess. You wanted to have somebody with a white yeah, t-shirt where we're supposed to be wearing. So with the vest off, yeah, let's leave it off at the moment. Moving down is as uh, far as the rest of the articulation. So we can spin at the waist, come apart at the waist. So you can switch the other vintage spire origins legs out with this from the other Prince Adam you want to, which we'll try in a little bit. He has a simplified belt and loincloth. Um... Actually, loincloth does have a little detail on it, something like the vintage figures. Moving down, so yeah, his purple painted legs, or we're going to call them pants. Um, and you can see the newer muscle leg aesthetics that are a little different um, compared to the vintage inspired figures. Actually, the whole figure is, if you're not familiar, the buck, the arms, everything's a little bit different. I like it. I think it works. Kind of has a cartoony vibe to it or something like that. Um, so as far as the articulation with the legs, go all the way out with a split forward can only go back about that far bend at the knee spin at the knee um has typical origin vintage inspired origins boots it looks like paint it white up top you can spin at the boot right um these can come off you can change them out with um yeah any other of the boots you wanted to and then as far as the foot go up and down rock side to side and the other legs are all the same and now here's a look at prince adam's alternative head or the smiling face like we've seen in the art where he's just doing nothing not a care in the world eyes uh closed and uh yeah a little green going on there and again everything the hair is the same as far as the skull but it's just differences in the face and now bringing prince adam back in once again with the vest on let's remove the first head and put the alternative one on <laughs> and there's a look at that setup or that head on that body um yeah i guess it's fun that they give you that to you i think it make more sense to give him a laughing head because you've seen that in the uh, super with the super seven classics prince adam but this works i see what they're going for any articulation is all the same look left to right down about that far and back but um yeah of course i'm going to keep the other head on and then of course for the last accessory you get the iconic filmation style power sword um which came out really cool for this cartoon line it's casted in like a really shiny silver color and it's identical to the he-man which here's he-man's you know that one he-man came with you had a ball same color and everything in style and once again, jumping back over to Adam, got the vest on. Yeah, I just put the He-Man or regular series inspired face on or head on. So yeah, it just fits that figure. That's what I like. Um, let's put the power sword in the right hand because that's what it's designed for. And now, of course, here's a quick look of that iconic by the power gray skull pose with the sword all the way up in the right hand with that new hinge joint, head looking up. Got him positioned as best I can or as accurate as I can to the filmation or what the range of um, articulation will allow me with this figure, which is pretty good. It looks natural. The way everything is set up, I mean, you know, you got to straighten the sword out. You can manipulate the head more. The arm can even go up more. I did get this joint unfrozen, so it works a lot better. But, um, yeah, that's good flexibility. It looks pretty cool. So, now the other thing I want to do, of course, bring in He-Man once again. So, we have our Prince Adam all set up. Call him on the power. And what's interesting with He-Man is, so, his he has a hinge joint that goes in and out. It doesn't go up and down. It's been a while since I reviewed this figure, but... It's more positioned to where he says, um, I have the power, I guess, or something like that. 
And now he does come with a closed gripping handle, so spins and goes in and out. The colors are, let me see. Yeah, He-Man's a little bit, he has a little more on a tan side to Prince Adam is. Kind of like he was in the animation when he transformed. So I guess if you wanted to, you could use this gripping hand on that side or both hands. But they are they are a little different color, so I'm just going to leave it. But I thought that was interesting. I just noticed that. You can't put him in the same pose as Prince Adam. See that look up as he doesn't have that wrist joint. So we'd have to use, switch these hands on that body if you want to. But the skin color is off. And again, going back to the skin color and, of course, the heads. You don't want to change heads around, even though they're the same head. Yeah, I just wanted to re reconfirm that skin color. It, you know, it's funny. Under my lights, it's it's He-Man does look a little bit on the tanner side, on the uh, yeah darker side. They are close, though. It could work if you wanted to mix parts around. But, uh, yeah, I would definitely say... Or he mans um maybe a little has a little bit more of a shine to him and a little more of a tint. I tried a couple of different lights. Um, it's close, but I would say he man is yeah he definitely has a little bit more on a tan side from what I see. Might vary figure to figure. So now the other thing with Prince Adam once again in a power sword. I was wondering like the animation if he can go back in his vest doesn't look like it. I think that's what he did in the um he had a cartoon. It slid behind his vest and he held it like that to where he man had the sword holder. When he transformed, but it doesn't look like there's enough room. Yeah, I guess you sort of can. Eh, it's, it's tricky. Yes and no, but it's not really meant to without bending a sword or pushing a head forward, because it's it's a you know it's a soft plastic, but not that soft to accommodate the sword. Kind of looks something like that. Okay, now moving forward, of course I had to get Prince Adam and Cringer together once again, just for scale out of packets, see what that looks like, and of course I have both their series faces on. Prince Adam's getting ready to turn on the He-Man. Cringer knows he's in trouble. Pulling his head. So take a look at that. And now here's a quick look at a happy moment of both Prince Adam and Cringer. Put both their happy faces on. Of course, uh, Cringer's greeting Adam coming in to the palace or yeah, my filming area. <laughs> holding him up. Take a look at that. You can just... So you have the open hand. You kind of hold him like that at the paw. And you can position Cringer... Balance them how you want, standing up. But yeah, it's, again, it's a good size and design, I think, or scale rather for the origins and these uh, figures. And then going back to just Cringer again, I wanted to see if you can uh, articulate the pause to hide his face, like in the animation when he was scared, looking down with the with his face on the floor with that. He, yeah, he sort of can. He's as far as they're gonna go, but like he's hiding, trying to hide into the ground or something. They can position him, so it's it's neat that. He can do that with the new articulation, or close to it anyway. So the next thing I want to do is set up Cringer like he's fearing for his life. Something similar to the animation, crouching down with the head up. Um, obviously, Prince Adam already transformed into He-Man with the power sword. He's going to turn Cringer into Battle Cat. But what I had to do with He-Man is use Prince Adam's hand to position a sword like that. Similar to the animation. This might be off. I have to look at images again. But So you can definitely see, bringing He-Man for a closer look, that yeah, the hand is little whiter in the skin so it is off um it's not terrible but if you wanted to position cringer with your he-man like that in your display or however you want it to i mean i'm not gonna but to reenact that you need this hand with the hinge joint because he-man's has the hinge joint that goes in and out it does not work the sword funky goes up doesn't work right and once again, moving forward. So the next thing I wanted to do, of course, was compare the new Cringer against the Origins Vintage Inspired Battle Cat. This is the one from the, you know, the Warriors 2 pack. It has the injuries and stuff on or battle damage. Um, I like the colors on this one aside the, yeah, the little blood injuries. Um, just was darker. Anyway, it's one I brought in. So here's sort of a quick size comparison with these two. And I just threw Prince Adam in the middle. Obviously, raise a sword up for a, yeah, scale between the two figures, between the two cats and Adam. And, of course, I left the armor on. Take a look at that. So it's kind of a little... Just give you an idea. And now here's another look without Adam or figure in between the two. Once again, for size comparison, um, of course, I left the armor on. So you can take a look at that. Now, of course, I just removed all the armor pieces off the main battle cat. So you can, again, see a uh, decent size comparison between the two. Um, so, yeah, the Origins... This Vintage Inspired Battle Cat... As far as the colors and, you know, so it has sculpted fur and it has a lot of details. That's what I was always liked with this one compared to the vintage one. Um, Yeah, it can work well with this, I guess, with the colors, even though this is more on a smoother scale. Again, going back to the cartoon line, for now, you can definitely use this 
Cringer or, you know, in your, as part of your diorama setup and turn them into Battle Cat or put the two together, something like that. Um, I have a feeling that we're going to see a cartoon inspired Battle Cat at some point because they're going heavy with this cartoon line. I, I can see one coming. It'll probably use parts of this mold, but maybe make the body smoother. Until then, I think it can work for the most part. Um, so, yeah, his eyes are blue, his eyes are whitish with the tent gnome but for the most part it works and i guess the biggest thing is not only the colors it's just a scale i think i think it's pretty accurate you know with this how they design the size of this cringer into with the comparison with the size of this battle cat which came out a long time ago so i think they can work well together and then the last thing i want to do is just throw in he-man now between the two with battle cat with the armor off yeah cringer obviously on that side so you can just get a look at all those together as far as once again the size comparison and yeah he in between now now of course they're brought in adam once again put all the armor back on a battle cat so if you're not familiar how the cartoon figures or he-man sits on this battle cat which i showed in my that he-man review some months back this is what adam would look like on him like you know he transformed to he-man and turned cringer into battle cat but then when he transformed back he didn't change battle cat back i think that happened in a filmation episode one time adam was on battle cat for some reason and I turned back to, yeah, Adam, but didn't change the cat back. Anyway, all right, so getting the cats out of the picture for the moment, focusing back on Adam for another comparison. We'll do some mixing and matching parts. Um, so, yeah, here's our new cartoon Adam against the vintage inspired origins Adam in a sky sled. Um, so, the point of that is, I just want to show Adam standing up against the sky sled flying. Now, this Adam has a um, vintage-inspired vest that I got on eBay. I put it on his figure. I like that a lot better. It really reminds me of my childhood. I took that pink vest off. I kept that alternative head on, which I like. Gave him a different look compared to He-Man. But that's um, all those two together with that with the uh, jet sled. All right, so while we have the jet, or excuse me, sky sled out, I just put the cartoon Adam on it. He fits and looks pretty good. Now, of course, only has that one hand for the uh, control grip. On the other side, his figure it only comes with an open hand. Again, you could switch a He-Man closed hand out that matches the skin color close. Um, I Somewhere I have a figure, I'm sure, with all the origins that has whiter skin. There's a couple of them, but for the most part, it can work. And if you're not familiar, it just has foot pegs in it to help hold them up. Okay, so once again, moving forward, I thought another important vehicle to put the cartoon at him in would be the Wind Raider, because in the uh, filmation, you've seen him you know, flying around a Sky Sledder slot or the Wind Raider. So just look at that setup, and yeah, in the Filmation cartoon, a Wind Raider can hold like four people or two people in Battle Cat in the back or something. This is just, has a really small cockpit. But anyway, it works good, and look at that setup. All right, now moving forward once again, of course, another very important comparison is our cartoon Prince Adam against the Filmation-inspired Prince Adam. Came with that uh, jet sled. So as I already mentioned, yeah, I put a, a maroon vintage style vest on them. I don't know what I did with the plastic one. I have it put away somewhere. I think this is the way to go. And they make different colors of these. Get them on eBay for like 10 bucks or something. Uh, that's what I got it for at the time. The maroon, they make, yeah, blue, like the comic book, green, purple, all kinds of stuff. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Um, Anyway, it's those two together. So, yeah, kind of, if you're not familiar, you kind of see the aesthetics. All right, just the differences in like the arm muscle, the uh, bicep. Yeah, the overall arms are all different now. You can see the difference in the legs. Um, these legs are a little bit taller, I think. But it's, yeah, it's the same exact boots. Now, for the most part, the colors could kind of work as far as the body. So the first thing I want to do, while I have these two figures side by side, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to mix some heads around. We'll maybe mix the vest around. A little odds and ends. Um, so if you didn't like these legs... In the waist, you could pop apart this the vintage figure, right? And then let's break this one apart and switch the legs and waist around. And now there's a quick look with the lower halves mixed around in each figure. Um Yeah, I don't it it can work. I don't see I don't know, I don't mind the muscle aesthetics on the newer or on this atom. And I don't mind these legs for the vintage. But if you want to mix the lower halves around, it's kind of what it look like again the purple. A little darker on the cartoon one and the vintage is a little lighter. Again, the boots are... Actually, no, I'm sorry. The boots are uh, larger. They are longer a little bit. It's the same style boot almost. You see that? Yeah, they actually are a little taller. Okay, I didn't notice that. Okay, so focusing on the cartoon Adam once again. I put the lower legs back on. Um, 
yeah, again, you can mix and match parts, arms and stuff. I, I just, I like the two different aesthetics as they are. Mixing different legs together with this body and arms, it's, I don't know, it's not something I would want to do, but I just wanted to do the lower legs. They seem to stand out the most, and, and yeah, the boots are a little bit taller. Anyway, so next thing I want to focus on is with this vest on is, of course, I just change out the um, vintage inspired Adam head that came on it with the Sky Sled Pack. So if you like that head, take a look at that. Of course, I put the pink vintage inspired sword in hand or something similar that the uh, vintage figure came with. Check that out. And um, yeah, see, the tones are off again on this, this skin with this head compared to the chest and hands. It's only really trying to match with this figure because everything else painted. But it can work and as far as the articulation. Can, it's really tight. Left to right. Can't, can't even go up and down. But if you wanted to use that head on this body, you could. And now I just drew the 2000X inspired He-Man head on this uh, Filmation Atom body. So if you wanted to use that head, you could. Um, again, let me see. He had his skin tones a little bit darker than this, uh, the neck and the hands with this figure. But it could work under certain lighting conditions. So if you like that head on this uh, figure, you could use that. And then, of course, we had to throw the vintage-inspired He-Man head on the cartoon body. So, if you like that head, which is a favorite amongst a lot of fans, including myself, you can use it. But again, it's... Yeah, it's, the skin tones are darker. Now, there's a lot of different He-Mans out. I came out with quite a few of these heads. They all vary a little bit, but they do have, from what I can see in my collection, a darker tone, most of them. And again, the skin's so light. It's hard trying to match that with the different heads. So once again, I put the cartoon inspired head back on with Siri's face, his power sword in hand. I think it just works for this figure best, obviously with the skin and yeah, the cartoon look. And I want to try that vintage inspired vest, at least the red one that I got on eBay, like the vintage figure came with. It does fit good. Um, biggest things with these vests is you have this band belt that, so you put the vest over the body and you got to break the um, waist in half and then mess around. Yeah, pulling this vest through the belt. It's... It's sort of a, I kind of wish it was a little bit longer. I'm sure it varies vest to vest. Got to play around with it. But it does look good on this figure. No way to go if you want to get one of these vests and kind of what it looked like. And now with that vintage inspired vest on, this cartoon Adam, I just drew that smiling head on. Of course, brought Cringer in the picture. So it was a quick look at that setup. And now jumping back to the vintage inspired Origins Prince Adam body. So I put the cartoon vest on that body, obviously the head on. So let's look at that setup. You just like this muscle tone, the legs. He had a chest over, you know, this, this, well, here's a body broken apart cartoon figure, right? Um, and of course he has the, he comes with the hand that goes in and out. But if you notice, so I try to put the power sword in the hand. Yeah, it doesn't hold it because the handle is so large in this one, it's stretched out the hand. And the origins, you know, they have terrible hands as far as the fingers. They should have sculpted them in more or something. I have a lot of figures where they're, Weapons fall out sometimes, and once you put something like this in, it really ill damage or stretch the hand out. You know, I can always switch the other the other hand out off this body, um, which you can. But for now, I'm just going to leave it anyway. Now, as far as the skin tone, um, yeah, a little bit tanner on the vintage body, but under my light, it, it can work. It's not terrible. And now, of course, I brought Cringer in once again. I just put the other head on him. Um, I changed out, you put the smiling head on this vintage inspired body. We have the vest on from the cartoon Adam. And I did change the hands over to this vintage Prince Adam body. So I put the sword in hand. Kind of look at that. There's a look at that setup and take a little closer look. So yeah, the hands, they do fit well fit well. And yeah, they can work. You know, it's not bad under the light with this. Well, of course, because I have the head on. So the only thing you're trying to mix is the neck piece. With the vintage figure. Again, it is a little bit darker, but it's not bad. It can work. So, once again, here's a comparison with both Prince Adams. And, of course, I have the vest and whatever extra parts removed. Swords, and that's about it. Um, Yeah, I put the hands back on each figure. So, I just wanted to show this for customizers to get even a better look at the overall full body aesthetics. All right, so, we already looked at the lower legs, the height, the boots, and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, you can just see the difference in the muscle tones. And yeah, these figures are a little bigger, definitely. And the legs are they're taller. All right, it's kind of a side profile. That's what they look like from the back. If you're not familiar. All right, so I think that about sums it up as far as uh, mixing and mashing of parts and comparisons and stuff like that. I can think of a few other things. Um, I looked at some Masterverse figures as far as heads and stuff, or the Prince Adam. It doesn't work. Skin tone's too far off. 
The Prince Adam's way too small and has a different ball peg. It's a female ball peg, so you can't switch the heads around. I already tried it before I was going to film it. It doesn't work. Not worth it. Um, side that, I like it. I think this is an awesome set. That box alone is beautiful. I didn't even want to take these figures out of the box. You, you can always put them back. It's collector friendly, but uh, I think I'm going to leave them out. I got to say, they did a good job on Cringer. I like how he came out. You know, our, yeah, the colors are off a little bit from the animation. Um, you know, the, it would have been neat if it had a little more yellow in the eyes. I mean, I, I can do that with a translucent marker. I think it would make him stand out a little more, but it ain't the worst thing. Some of the stripes are off. I Again, what they're doing for the cartoon line, I'm happy with it. And he does, uh, I think he matches pretty well with the Vintage Aspire Battle Cat. Um... Again, he does a little, have a little more detail to him. Not the worst thing. I mean, maybe that's what he would look like when he transforms with the Power Sword. Um, I have a feeling there will be a Cartoon Spire Battle Cat coming out. Uh, as far as... And I do like the two different heads. I mean, this head alone, just with that expression. And then the open, articulated mouth. I, I, wasn't, I didn't know that figure had this until I took him out of package. That alone is cool. And the articulation is amazing. The amount of articulation they give you. And the size compared to Battle Cat. It work, I think it works good. Prince Adam too. It's another He-Man, you know, with the head come out decent. I like the vest. Um, Power Sword's always cool. Again, I don't mind the newer aesthetics with the cartoon figures. This, this head's pretty funny. Cool with the smiling thing, you know. Um, the only thing I would have would have been cool if you could put the sword in back of the vest. This is more flexible or wider. Going back to animation, but you really can't. Um, and then the skin colors are off a little bit. Not the worst thing again. You you seen what I did in the review? Try different heads around. It depends on lighting conditions. There are other origins figures that have whiter hands. You can switch out to have a closed hand. Yeah, I wish you would have came out a closed hand as well. And they gave him another hand where the hinge joint can go both in and out or back and forth. But this is how they set him up. I like it. I think Side Dad's a great set. It's, it's really fun to finally have a Cringer and Prince Adam set as part of cartoon line, especially the Cringer. He's the most important part. I think a lot of us been waiting for it for years. And did a great job with them. That's my opinion on it. So I appreciate everybody watching. Until next time, take care.